welcome back to the Freak Show, Bumpy Mix Squiggum Zero. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Dot Hack GU Last Recode. We're in the Epitaph of Twilight. And it's here that we shall read about this, because I don't know what's going on. I heard a weird thing from a friend of mine. Is it really true that the world was created based on the epic poem Epitaph of Twilight? Also, if this is true, what is that what is that on the official page? Does anyone here know anything about this? Uh, I believe this is true. CC Corp won't officially admit it, though. Well, that's the epitaph of Twilight, right? It's on the official page. I should probably check that out, too. I heard that the epitaph of the epitaph of Twilight was a fantasy-style story about a search for a dragon, but the main background story for the world is just about a bunch of guys fighting each other. I don't think that can be right. The previous version, The World R1, was most definitely based around the poem Epitaph of Twilight, it said that the words written on the altar in Hula's, or Hula Grands are proof of that. With regards to the World R2, the two event planners structured the game from scratch while incorporating the atmosphere of the World R1 as much as possible. Interesting. So where's the link? Excuse me, but could you tell me your source? Uh, CC Corporation's Ease... Ezine, I guess it's like a magazine. Uh, so this is how I think it is. Fragment, based on the Epitaph of Twilight. The World R1, based on the Epitaph of Twilight. World R2, CC's Corpse. Original scenario, partly based on the previous game. Huh? That e-magazine has insider info from the designers? I figured it would just be mindless advertising. Damn, I underestimated them. Did you need to be a gold member of the CC Corp official fan club to be able to receive the e-magazine? Uh, exactly, but you need to have $30 cash in your cyber wallet, so think carefully before you register. Wasn't there a guild that was collecting the epitaph of Twilight and the Twilight Keys? I wonder if that guild is still active. I don't hear anything about them anymore. Is it just messed up? This is starting to look more and more like a bad rumor board. Um, that was the Twilight Brigade, and now that you mention it, I haven't heard a thing about them lately either. They used to be so active. I wonder what happened. Maybe they broke up. The guild itself is no longer around. It seems they just fell apart when their leader disappeared. But I heard the leader recently returned to the world. I guess the former members of that guild are starting to get active again, too. I mistakenly used a rare serrated edge nickel coin I bought at the auction to buy a rice ball. Good evening. This is W. Rice, I guess? That must be like a, a specific symbol. I'm not sure. But I heard the leader recently. Wow, really? I wonder if the rumor board is going to get busy again. If it gets to be what it used to be like, I'll be posting there too. Bring on the Twilight Brigade. I have no idea what's happening right now. Sorry for the noob-like question, but what exactly is this epitaph of Twilight and the Twilight Key business? Well, please forgive my presumptuousness, but please let me try to explain. The Epitaph of Twilight. This is an epic poem that was posted on the internet for free. People say that the world of of the world R1 is based on it, but CC Corporation denies it. The person who wrote the poem is dead now, and you can no longer see the website where it was originally posted. The poem itself has been scattered as well. Twilight Key. This is a legendary item that is said to grant the wishes of whoever is lucky enough to find it. Lots of players have been looking for it ever since the days of a fragment. Despite the fact that an extremely large number of people are looking for it, there are no reports of ha anyone having seen it. Lately, most people have started to think that it might just be another urban legend since the information is so vague. I hope the above explanation has been useful. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Uh, Kagari, uh, hmm, so the Twilight Brigade is a guild that is dedicated to finding something that doesn't exist? That sounds kind of romantic! Well, I don't know if that was great, but we did it! Yay! Hmm. Alright, let's get back to the world. Let's get going. <sighs> that guy's creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's check out the official site. Welcome to the world. The world... Whoa! The world is an MMORPG, a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Enjoyed by many players worldwide, gained fame as a top-class adventurer, became Emperor of the Colosseo, 
take part in quests, explore the world, or just relax and take in the gorgeous scenery. There is more than one way to enjoy the world, more than one path to take. You too can become a resident of the world and live the life you desire. Look at that. Crest and Steam Technology Chaos Gate. This is a crest device that is a key to creating a barrier that stops monsters from invading town. Each town has at least one Chaos Gate, which you must use to warp into a field or a dungeon. Steam Alchemy. This is an alchemy device created by combining Steam and Crest technology. Just toss any item in and from old equipment to spare items. And the device uh, will transform it into a different item. Although the device was first intended to transform scrap iron into gold, these types of items can be transformed, or that can be transformed now, are restricted by law, as economists worried it would wreak havoc on the economy. The steam bike. Ooh, I want that. A steam-powered bike invented by humans. It's an extremely expensive item. Riding around on one of these is guaranteed to earn you jealous stares from the people in town. The gondola. The gondola has historically been used to navigate the canals of Mac Anu. Transportation provided by the gondolas used to be essential to everyday life, but with the steady advance in technology, they have mostly lost their original purpose, becoming more of a tourist attraction for Mac Anu. Well, that's just wonderful. All right, I don't care anymore. Let's go. We need, uh, we've had enough fluff. It's time to get into the mix here. All right. Well, I suppose we should go get a quest, maybe. Let's go see what's available, and then, yeah, we'll do... Um, I suppose we could check out the memoir, too. Walk around the town. Guild member shops are open for business in the central district. Right, that's another thing that we need to do. Which is exactly where I'm heading, so it works out kind of well. Da 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 Alright, let's see here. You. Except job. I don't want to do that again. Do you have any other jobs for me? Well, they tell me to go this way. I shall do as they request. Uh, careful. Yeah. Or not. Are you having fun running into me? Literally. <laughs> what? Please help me. Awkward. Awkward First, hug. Get off of me. Move. Wow. He's now such what a do jerk. I do? I mean, I was supposed to open up the shop together with Syllabus. Uh huh. But when we finally went to open the shop up, there wasn't close to being enough inventory in our storage. Uh -huh. What are we gonna do? There's no time left. What should we do? Our customers will be here any minute now. Open tomorrow? I mean, it's not that complicated. Are they rare items? No. I need to restock on. Let me think. Ten black beans and ten almond jelly. Okay. Ten Asian mangoes and ten caramel sauces. Yeah, I think that's what we're missing right now. Seems like a lot. Aren't those sold in other shops? Just buy some and sell them yourselves. There you go. Oh, you're right. Then, then, then... Haseo, come on. Help me buy all the supplies that we need. Huh? Why do I have to help you? Yeah. Here's the money, Haseo. Yeah, oh, 3300. I said I'm not doing this. Oh, come on, Haseo. You go buy and deliver the Asian mangoes and the caramel sauces to Syllabus when he gets here in the Central District, okay? Mm. Great. Thank you so much for your help. I said no. Well, that Kidding? didn't go well. How did I get involved in all of this? Ah, uh, the hell with it. I guess I'll help them out. Just this one time. Yeah. Let's see. I need ten Asian mangoes and ten caramel sauces. Uh-huh. And then give them to Syllabus in the Central District Town Square when he gets here. Come on, let's do this. Asian mangoes and caramel sauces. I'll try looking around the Merc the Merskinary district. All right, to the Merskinary district we go. Hey. I am here. Fear me. 
for I am the terror of death and one to never be trifled with for all of the days of your lives. Magic item shop. All right. Well, let's go get some mangoes. Ten Asian mangoes. Buy. I would like to buy a total of ten. And what else? That's it. Okay, and it was caramel sauce, right? We don't have any of that. Do you have any caramel sauce? Nope. Hasta luego, lego my ego. Where are we going to now? Check out the dome. The chrome dome. It's fine. All right, let's go to the dome. Gotta love delivery missions. Yep, that's me, the delivery boy. The kiosk sells caramel sauce, because of course it does. Because of course he does. Alrighty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop talking. Buy them there sauces. Yep, mm -hmm. that's exactly what I'm talking about. There it is. He is done. Now I just gotta go back to the central district, because I know how to teleport. Teleportation is my friend. And I am so very good at the teleportation thing that we're doing with stuff in the junk. Mm-hmm. Alright. Chase down that woman! Don't actually... No, no, don't, don't, don't chase her. Alright, we're here, buddy. What's going on, Silvus? Got him! Thanks a lot Got for him. helping us out, Haseo. You're welcome. Once Gaspard gets here, we'll be all set. You're welcome. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, I guess you've never done it before. Done what? <laughs> well, Gosh. manage a shop. Want me to explain how it works? Sure. Not really. It works like this. Come on, Haseo. I think it would be good for you to learn what normal players do. Well, anyway. Gaspard sure is taking his time shopping for all of this. I wonder what's up with him. Hmm? What? He got eaten by a monster. It's a short mail from Gaspard. Apparently he got lost. Surprise. Man, could that guy get any dumber? Uh. I've got to go find him. Let me tell you, I'm not moving an inch. Perfect. You can run the shop. Right. See you when I get back. You're now in charge of the shop, Acorn. Huh? Will you do me a favor? Watch over the shop while I'm out there looking for Gaspard. D don't be ridiculous. Just go ahead and close it down while you're gone. I can't do that. Our best customers will be here soon. Jeez. So what? Just leave me out of this. You don't have anything to do, right? Or are you just afraid of dealing with the customers? What? Like hell I am. Uh. You'll be fine. Manners are very important even online. Remember to greet them properly. Oh boy. Am I a preschooler? S yeah. See ya. Basically. I'm off to look for Gaspard. Basically a preschooler. That's that's pretty much how I would describe you. <sighs> how did I get stuck doing this? You're dumb. Excuse me. <clears throat> well, welcome. Uh, uh, uh. Well, that's weird. <laughs> what? What's happening? Um, excuse me, Mister, but um, there's a there, there's an item I really want. Sure. What is it? It's called a Dusty Miller. Do you think uh, you might have any here? That doesn't sound like an item um, you should want. Let's see. It looks like we've got just one. It's 6,000 GP. What hmm? is this? So? What? I'm so confused Do you want it or not? and scared at the same time. Oh, yeah, sure. But I don't have enough money for it. Hmm? You don't? Then I can't sell it to you. 
Yep. I was asked to watch over the shop, you know. I've got to do the job the right way. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What is with that If you hat? want something, you'll have to save up for it. I did save, but oh, it looks like it's all gone now. What is... Your money's gone? Hey, don't you even remember how you spent your own money? No, I don't know. After all, it was Saku's turn up until yesterday. I don't know what, what means. Saku's turn. Saku is my big sister. Uh. And, well, Saku was the one who was using this character yesterday. So then basically, you and your sister share that character by taking turns playing. Pretty much, yep. Yeah. And you're telling me that your sister used all of the money that you had been saving up to buy it. Pretty much. What a great sister. Should kill her. No, don't, no don't. really. It's fine. I was just going to buy her a birthday present with that money anyway. It's no big deal. Uh. Birthday? Yeah, you see, we're twins, so it's actually my birthday as well. Aww. Your birthday, huh? Fine. Then I guess I'll give you a discount. Oh, really? Yeah, and give my best to your sister. Oh. Okay, thank you so much. That is very uncharacteristic of you, guy. Hey, we got rid of the Dusty Miller. Uh, uh, by the way, my name is Bo. Uh, I, I promise that I'll pay you back the next time I come here. Uh, okay, Haseo? How do you know who we are? We never said our name. Hmm. So she's Saku and he's Bo. So Saku and Bo, huh? Why is Hello? that, that a thing? Oh, uh, hmm. Is that a toy? Welcome to. Uh, oh, it's boy. You. Yep. Well, this is unexpected. I never would have thought that you'd do these kinds of things, Haseo. <sighs> Welcome to Awkward Class, Did ladies and gentlemen. And the greeting that you gave to that boy was perfect and natural. <sighs> there he is again. <sighs> Maybe you work in a retail store in real life. Or like at a video rental place or something. Because they're still Jeez, around. You're annoying. Video you're rental not going to buy anything. Shut up and get lost. How rude. I'm Finally! Finally, how I'm rude. Sure to make Thank you. To the shop, Acorn. I wonder why I'm not the least bit excited about that. Because you're a jerk. Hey, so what do you recommend? See? Not bad, huh? Guild shops have a pretty decent selection to choose from. Wow, you're totally right. And everything's so much cheaper here than it is at the NPC shops. Is it? To be honest, I didn't really want to bring you ladies here. Because then your eyes and attention will be rooted to something else other than me. <laughs> and I just can't help but try and monopolize your beautiful oh, eyes for as long so as I good. possibly can. Oh, Cooney! Now don't worry about anything. One thing's for certain, I only have eyes for you. What is happening? Please, don't look at me with those passionate eyes of yours. What? Did, didn't you, if you keep looking just... at me with such a beautiful gaze like that? I just know that I'll be forever b b <clears throat> bound to you. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, Captain yo, Awkward. Yo, Haseo, long time no see. What do you mean, yo? You jerk! You sure look like you're having fun with the ladies there, Cooney. Yeah. Oh, Burn. No, this is just. Well, I've got an appointment to keep. Uh huh. Did I really say that? Yeah. While you were off flirting with all of those women, I have been stuck here in this shop. I've been... Kenny! <laughs> Hurry up! Let's go play already! <laughs> I can't take this. It's so good. It's the Guildmaster! Oh, uh, what is this? What are we watching? Wow, Coon. You're really popular, aren't you? Oh, my soul. Um, yeah... Okay, I'll email you guys and girls later. Okay, see you then. Oh, I just... Hey! Uh... Yes. Everything so, about it. 
Kuhn used to be part of your guild, and he was the guild master. Yes. Our guild Sorry. name, Canard, comes from the stabilizer wings on airplanes. Uh, uh, okay. Actually, we chose that guild name because we thought it really represented Kuhn's dream. A lot of women? To support first-time players of the world and help them relax and enjoy it. Well, there you go. When I got lost, it was Kuhn that helped me. He was the one who rescued me. Uh-huh. He taught us lots of ways to enjoy the game. I mean, you know how they say that the beginning to anything is key, right? No, but sure. I'm sure we wouldn't be playing like we are now if we hadn't... If we hadn't met Kuhn when we did. <sighs> well, I guess that's fair. I wonder... If I hadn't been PK'd on my very first encounter, the first day I logged into this game, if I hadn't met Ovan then, and if I hadn't met Shino, if we hadn't come across Triage, would I be laughing and enjoying this game like these guys are right now? Probably? Uh, what's wrong, Haseo? Oh, nothing. Of course, now that Kuhn is gone, there was no one around to organize Canard. So, why did he leave? Puppetry. I'm not really sure why, but he said something about not wanting to get us involved. You guys aren't the chosen mm -hmm. ones. And here I was, thinking that he was kicked out of the guild for flirting too much. Wah, oh, wah, that. Wah, that's Coon's illness. If that's we his illness? About it, we'd never be able to keep up. That's his illness? An illness, huh? <laughs> yeah. Coon is sick? That, that's a thing. Well, it's not life threatening. Nothing you have to worry about. <sighs> you. Jeez. You're still here? What? He's yeah. such a jerk. Well, you never told me to leave. Oh, uh, why would you. Uh... Stop standing in my blind spot. Oh, uh -huh. uh... so. This is the Terror of Dust blind spot, huh? <sighs> now, now. Anyway, thanks for watching the store, Haseo. You're welcome. Yeah, sure. Business kind of sucked, though. <clears throat> Not at all. Oh, yeah. Do you have any idea what Haseo did while you were gone? Oh, she's gonna rat him out. What? What are you guys chatting about? Uh... Oh. You gave a little boy a birthday present? Wow, you're such a nice guy, Haseo. Yeah, no, he's not. Yeah, I guess you are. Damn girl. Ugh, she really needs to learn how to shut up and... You see that? Everyone really does want to treat other people nicely. Have you met him? He's the biggest I jerk think it's ever. because people can be more honest online than they can in real life. There's a whole veneer, isn't there? Hey, Haseo, why don't you officially join Canard? Yeah, huh? why not? I mean, I think you've got some real leadership skills. And I second that thought. Come on, let's do this together. We can all do I it. It's a great idea. Just act like you did before. Okay, fine, fine. But it'll be a name only. You got it? Hey, I'm a very busy guy. Yeah, All right, sure. it'll take a little time to process you, but you should get an email later on. Okay then, glad to have you, Haseo, our new guild master. Well, that was easy. Yay! Yay! Haseo is our new ooh, guild ooh, master. Ooh, 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 ooh. Congratulations, Haseo. Thank you, thank you. Wait, I'd like to thank all the little what's people. What's this about guild master? Like I said before, you have some real leadership skills, Haseo. Yes, cold oh, detachment. This is your reward for watching the store. Here, see ya. Don't give me the Dusty Miller. Okay. Bye. I'll it, see you bye. later. Oh, Now then, I better be going too. Go, leave already. Today we're having a meeting at Moon Tree <laughs> to help the victims of trading. All... Would oh. you like to join too? No way. <laughs> See you later then. Who in the world is in charge of the dialogue for this game? They don't match up at all. Somebody treated me like that, or I treated somebody like that. Oh my goodness, she's just yelling at her, telling her to leave, shut up, and all this, and she's just like, okay, <laughs> like, what? What is happening? How? Ah, oh, my soul, my soul bleeds. Anyway, let's head on over to the old quest thingy here, we're out of time for the episode, we didn't actually get to fight anything this time around, it's okay.
Eh, I still don't want to kick him again. Well, I suppose we'll log out, and in the next old episode, we will hopefully get to do some of my fighting and kicking and everything else. And maybe we get another quest, another level or two, and just good stuff all around, we're hoping. But let's go check our mail before we head out. That thing. Hey, what's up? Well, we're finally ready for that thing. I'll wait for you at Mac Anu's Chaos Gate, so invite me when you're ready. P.S. About the incident in Town Square, could you please not tell Pi about it? Please? Pretty please? Mm. Can we bring Pi along, you think? Is she part of our, uh, our collective group? Probably not. Alright, well, we'll log back into the game, and I guess we'll do the thing that we're supposed to do, and it'll be totally fine. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys had fun. A lot of crazy dialogue, a lot of weird, weird stuff. It looks like it's not over yet. Oh, you're finally here. Yep. Then let's get going. The area words for our destination are <coughs> Delta Great Cursed In-Laws. Great Cursed In-Laws. Because of course what? it is. The old hag's coming yes! too? Yes! I like well, pie now. Because I like there's pie. no guarantee oh, we won't come across any it's danger. Perfect. It's huh. perfect. I like pie. Who you coming? Hurry up and invite me already. Uh-huh. Alright. I finally have Pi's member address. Sweet. I have a new favorite person to bring along. Because they get along so well. Just FYI. All right, well, I am going to hit the wrong buttons some more. We're going to go to Party Styles with a Z. We're going to get we got Pi. And we're going to get Coon, and that's going to pretty much do it. Roger that. I'll be right there. Wait up for me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I thought he said he was three. I'm like, whoo. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this particular episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. I'm not sure specifically when. Uh, on the weekend for sure, so Saturday, Sunday, look for episodes of this to go up no matter what. But, um, yeah, maybe maybe we'll get an extra bonus episode throughout the week at some point. I don't know. I'm really having fun with the game. It's crazy. The dialogue is just, uh, it's rough. It's rough, but I like it. It's funny. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>